Welcome back to Battle Cage. My name is Saif and I'm coming to you with another rapid video uh, prediction. Today we are looking at UFC Fight Night Moreno versus Royville 2 and these are rapid picks. So this is not a full card breakdown video. If you are looking for that, you can try another channel uh, or comment down below if you're interested in that. I am more giving you straight picks, no time wasted, time is money. Let's keep going. With that being said, Fight Night, uh, Moreno versus Royville 2, rapid picks starting now. My first pick is going to be a spread play, Christian Quinones at plus three and a half, um, plus money at this point, well, at least even money, plus 100 uh, versus Raoni Barcelos. I'll tell you right now, Raoni Barcelos is a stud. He looks incredible at 436. It is a Bentley division. And as you go up in age, it's getting, excuse me, it's getting harder and harder. So, but he looked phenomenal, but it's almost a decade difference between Christian Quinones and Raoni Barcelos. And I just feel like Christian Quinones is coming out to that top peaking potential. His striking uh, differential is, they're really pretty much the same here. Um, their significant striking, again, pretty much the same. I'm just banking on the youth to take that accuracy is going to favor Christian Quinones. So I'm kind of banking on that closer fight than, you, you know, than than anything there is a three inch reach advantage for christian quinones over raoni barcelos now we know Ra raoni barcelos for a long time and he's a stud but um yeah like i said father time is 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 not is not often very good to the bantamweights so even if this is a close fight even if christian quinones loses the fight we're hoping he's gonna cover the spread as long as it's 29 28 across the board or something like that as long as it's really relatively close and not a beat down from um raoni barcelo so as long as christian quinones wins or loses a split decision or gets really really close uh in the unanimous decision we're hoping he's gonna cover the spread so i like that play it's like a sneaky play if you will um that's the play i'm going with. by the way that spread is available on DraftKings. and i was able to grab that over there i'm not sure if other books offer that play but i i liked it the next pick is going to be parlay of the night. Uh, Rosas Zeluber Rodriguez. There is an asterisk. You can add Puelas as a dog booster. He's the only dog that I'm kind of liking. But um, I've been cautioned against Puelas because he was overexposed against Dan Hooker. And Farazim is game. So be careful. Um, but the parlay base is going to be Rosas Zeluber Rodriguez. Rosas, I believe... I was I was hating on Rosas, but he absolutely won me over in his last fight, and I think he's just a much hungrier, younger dude uh, versus his opponent Ricky Torcios, who hasn't delivered much uh, like we all thought. And I just think he's gonna continue the wave and fighting in Mexico. I think it's just it's a beautiful position for him. Zell Uber, the Golden Boy, uh, fighting Francisco Prado, who's a stud. I will have to say but extremely extremely young here only 21 years of age he has so much room to grow i just i don't know if he was right to be at ufc so fast um in any case he has you know good fighting record for 12 and 1 uh and he wasn't so bad in the last fight so but again zell uber 24 really really stepping up to this game 77 inch reach versus 69 he's gonna keep francisco at bay francisco's only hope is to to die for the legs and control but we've seen zell uber to be very dangerous with that especially with his win with in the via submission his striking difference is much more significant um five to like three and um striking accuracy they're pretty much good as well so I think the golden boy shines here and he's he's gonna get the job done. Hence he's in my, he's in the parlay. And this Rodriguez, by the way, is Yair Rodriguez in the co-main event. I know this whole thing, they're friends with Brian Ortega now, and he doesn't want to fight him, if you will. But I just feel like in this spot, he's still much better all around Ortega. I was hesitant, but you know, um, I've come to the decision that Rodriguez is the better fighter. And just FYI. Uh, live from Long Island when they originally fought, 25 unit max play. That was the my biggest play for that year was Yair Rodriguez at Dog Money. And yes, it was a fluke win, but I was still all over uh, that 
position and uh, i believe rodriguez comes through yet again so put those three plus two two seven great odds great parlay um moving down along my next pick is gonna be my money line pick of the night and i'm gonna go with mateus madonka at minus 135 um you could probably shop around and get him uh, a little bit cheaper at minus 130 I've, I've i've seen him um bet online and other books might have him a little bit closer in fact certain books might even have him at pick him odds um again here i'm going with the physicality he's going to be physically much bigger than him uh bit bigger than uh jesus aguilar that is five foot six versus five foot four um you know they're pro both young guys 27 to 25 but once again the reach is evident here Mateus reaches 71.5 versus 62 so almost 10 inches that's very very significant I believe the striking differential is also bigger for um Madonka here um so in terms of takedown average it is going to favor Jesus I'm just hoping Madonka is able to starch Jesus much faster than get takedown here so I am a little bit worried with the takedown game but in terms of physicality, excuse me, I have to go with Madonka here. And it was extremely evident at the faceoffs. I think Jesus Aguilar is, is, is tough. He's durable. I have nothing but respect for Mexican fighters here. Uh, but I think, I think this is going to be Madonka's night. And he looked very, very composed at the weigh-ins and, and, and faceoffs. I'm going to go with Madonka here at the money line. Um, it's not going to be a max unit play. So don't think I'm going crazy here, but it's going to be enough, um, you know, maybe, you know, a few units, if you will. Uh, but that's going to be my money line play. The final pick that I'm going to share with you is I'm something excited about. It's something called the X Factor Parlay. This is not my parlay. It's my brother's parlay. He's been playing this this method for a while and he's he's been having success. Um, I'm trying to get him on the show. We actually tried. It didn't work out scheduling wise. He's now on the West Coast. He lives in California. I'm on the East Coast. There is a 10. Uh, it, there is a three-hour difference, so it's kind of hard for us to get it. But hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll get him on the show, and you're going to meet him. He has a great MMA mind, and, you know, he's really good, very analytical. So this is his parlay, and it's X-Factor parlay, meaning X for whatever you want to start. So fight starts round two. This is available once again via DraftKings. Um, I told you guys it's one of my favorite books because it just gives you more options to play with. And my brother agrees. So fight starts round two in the following fights. Uh, Rodriguez versus Ortega, as I um, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but uh, because they're friends and whatever, um, they, it might be a slower start. They might not go balls to the wall and hit each other or submit each other in the first round, especially with the fluke fight in the first um, round in that very first meeting. Uh, we're going to go with that fight, hopefully lasting five minutes going into the second round. Guergi versus Sam Hughes is where I'm a little bit hesitant, but it is what it is. I'm hoping uh, Sam Hughes has that veteran spirit, has the dog in her to uh, clinch up Guergi, who's going to be piecing her up, by the way, in a striking exchange, who's a much better striker. But we're going to hope that she clinches, brings that distance a lot shorter and um survives five minutes so guergi versus hughes fight starts round two please no finish and finally in the main event again another fluke injury uh roy Vell in that very first fight uh his shoulder pops out um same very similar with ortega so it's kind of funny <laughs> life is really funny here um but yeah we're hoping we're, we're banking on the durability of roy Vell that showed and was massively on display in his last performance with Pantoja, uh, which fight I didn't really like, but I like how Ro Royvel was aggressive, just got take taken down, you know, all the time. And Moreno, we know Moreno, proven, durable, solid Mexican warrior. So once again, fight starts round two. If you put those three at massive odds, I will say, um, we're going to start with Sam Hughes, five starts round two, minus 550. Um, Rodriguez, Ortega, minus 550. And Moreno versus Brandon Ravel, minus 650. You combine, squeeze the lemon, you're going to get minus 164. A playable parlay for those who are looking for 
um you know kind of a short thing but again nothing is sure this is mma now i am gonna switch over to my DraftKings account i'm logged in as you can see for those of you who are familiar once you see cash out that means you have a bet and you're in there so i have a uh the parlay that i i, I told you about as you can see we have uh rosas we have zell uber we have yair rodriguez I added Cl Cl uh, Claudio Pellas as a booster, but if you just want the base stamp, remember it's going to be uh, those top three. If you, add Cl Cl if you do add a booster or any booster of your choice, uh, in this case it's Claudio Pellas, which I'm scared to be honest, but I'm plus one, uh, plus 777, up from 227. So that's the only difference here, but I'm probably going to lock in my three leg parlay as well. This was just something I was going really quick in preparation for the video. and. Christian Quinones plus three and a half. As you can see, I played that. Uh, as long as he doesn't get starched by Raoni Barcelos, um, pretty confident. Again, another quarter of a unit play here. Um, and yeah, that's locked in. Finally, we have that um, X Factor parlay. I have it pulled up. So for you to see that it is pulled up, the only difference is for at least the way I played it here, um, I added one more leg to the base stem as well. And it was Victor Altamirano versus Felipe Dos Santos. I think Felipe Dos Santos wins. I'm just banking on the durability of Victor Altamirano not to get knocked out. And same thing with Felipe Dos Santos. Don't get knocked out. Uh, they both showed a lot of durability over the past it fights. And I'm hoping that fight starts too as well. So just to squeeze the lemon, if you will, minus 164, three-leg base at one more leg and, and i was able to get a minus 118 again this is an option the base the base stem is there for the x factor parlay my brother only played the x factor parlay did not include anything else he has a three leg play and um i'm just going with the four legs just in case because i want to get a little bit more so a couple of units already in play um i haven't played madonka yet i'm leaning to play i'm just gathering calculating my odds here considering maybe a live play haven't locked that money line play as in but it's going to be locked in because i'm picking uh madonka so let's see i'm just looking at how many units i'm going to go with so that's it folks this was um another great uh video rapid picks straight to the point a little bit over we're about 13 minutes here but it's much better than listening for an hour. It's just too much, too much. So have a good night. I hope we cash these tickets. I hope we don't break bank. And um, remember, don't chase. Enjoy the night. Should be a very, very nice night. Happy Saturday, everybody. Um, see you on the flip side. Your boy out.